Hey guys, today's Friday, which means, you know, it's time to party. Don't know about you, but I've already gotten started. Whoa, caramel and cheesy popcorn? Slow down, keys. No, I won't. Time for tech news. Delicious. Yesterday, Valve held a media roundtable at its HQ in Bellevue, Washington, and made a number of intriguing announcements. First off, the company is working on three new VR games, which Valve boss Gabe Newell described as full-fledged, in-depth games, rather than the tech demos that have flooded VR marketplaces. I have popcorn in my mouth. That wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Now, Lord Gaben didn't say much more about the games, other than that they're being built using both Unity and Valve's own Source 2 engine. The other big announcement, other than the fact that Valve doesn't like consoles, because of course they don't, is that the company is killing off its Steam Greenlight program. Under the new program, called Steam Direct, any and all developers will be able to publish their game on Steam, provided they fill out some paperwork and pay a fee, which could be anywhere from 200 to 5,000 bucks per game. This, of course, should keep out any trolls or con men, because only real, hard-working indie game developers would even have enough money for that. Because <laughs> they work so hard. Obviously. Intel also had some things to announce yesterday at their annual investor briefing, where Intel's 7th gen chips topped out at about a 15% performance increase over 6th gen chips. The company says its 8th gen chip should see at least a 15% bump in performance, so probably more than that. The first 8th gen chips on mobile platforms, codenamed Cannon Lake and built on the 10 nanometer process, will reportedly start entering the market in the second half of this year. Desktop 8th gen chips, codenamed Coffee Lake and built on a 14 nanometer process, again, will come after that. So, not much to take away from this except that Intel's new process architecture optimization schedule is more like process architecture optimization optimization optimization. Am I right? <laughs> Those tricksters. Humans are getting better and better at building and testing AI. So what happens when you make two of those AIs fight to the death? Or just for fun? The people at Google DeepMind pitted AI agents against each other in two different video games to see if they would fight or work together. The first game involved both AIs gathering apples from a central pile, but either could zap the other with a laser to temporarily disable their opponent. The researchers found that the agents didn't zap each other until apples became scarce, until a more powerful AI was added that zapped its opponent regardless of how many apples there were. The second game involved two players hunting a third in an obstacle-filled environment. Here, the more powerful AI was more likely to work together with its partner to find its prey. Now, the researchers say the big takeaway from this study is that AI agents change their behavior based on the rules they're faced with. And I say the big takeaway is that this is how the world ends. With robots playing Mario Party. It's time for... Changing keycaps all day is the most fun thing you can do. Oh look, quick bits. Hey, nice! Even got the little coordinated green and blue LEDs. I wouldn't recommend leaving your keyboard like that though. Things will be hard to type. Speaking from experience. Thanks, Theo. If the rest of you would like to see yourself on Netlinked or something that you recorded, tweet us a quick bits. Twitch has just launched a new feature in beta called Communities, a discovery tool to help streamers connect to the most relevant audiences and help viewers discover more streams aligned with their interests. It's basically like subreddits, but on Twitch. Reviews for Google's co-designed LG Watch Sport and Style went up this week, with the consensus being that people are still confused about whether anyone actually needs a full-blown smartwatch. Does that temper my desire for one, though? Not really. Reviews are also out for Samsung's flagship Chromebook Pro, with the consensus there being that it would be really awesome if Android apps weren't so buggy. But Samsung has until the laptop's launch in April to fix them, so hopefully this device has a slightly better repair history than the Note 7. <laughs> EVGA debuted their new ICX GPU cooling tech today, which has temperature sensors distributed across the PCB to run its dual fans at different speeds according to the need for cooling. So you can stay frosty both figuratively and literally. Ooh. The embattled former co-founder of Hyperloop One, Brogan Bram Brogan. Huh, cool name. Pretty cool name. 
has launched a new Hyperloop-based company called Arivo, with former Hyperloop One members, including Nut Sour and Jaden Smith. I'm not making this up. <laughs> and Facebook slash Oculus is apparently working on glove controllers for VR, which are likely a continuation of a project in development at Pebbles Interfaces, which Oculus acquired last year. I could make a Facebook poke joke here, but I won't. But I guess I already did. Oops. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Happy birthday to Zack, Night Owl, and Yuki. I hope your day is awesome, guys. Also, happy birthday to Matt, your B-Day was yesterday, and Atharva, whose is tomorrow. Whew. You're all wonderful people, and I appreciate you. And if the rest of you want us to say anything, it doesn't have to be happy birthdays, it can be anything within reason, give us a tweet. So, Julia was supposed to announce the winner of our Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 giveaway yesterday, but she didn't. So I am. In case you didn't know, we asked you guys to send us a photo of your current keyboard to enter to win a new one, and after narrowing it down to five entries, you guys voted on the winner, and that winner is... Drumroll! Ba -da 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 -da. Evan D! With his mantra, say no to drugs, say yes to pizza. A life lesson for all of us, I think. Congrats, Evan! Check your email for instructions on how to claim your prize. And thank you to everyone for entering the contest. It was great fun, I think, for all of us here at the studio. All right, that's it for Nailing Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter down here. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits. And subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, it's very late, but not too late for me to start partying too. And Chicago Mix? There's no one I'd rather party with than you. Love ya. And love ya.